initially go into collaboration thinking it's going to be one thing, but then the final product seems to always evolve into something completely different from what you expected. So through collaboration, you grow the idea into something everyone can really stand behind. It's tough because we still don't even really know what we want to achieve. My brother and I launched it a couple years ago and initially it was a clothing company, but now we're kind of finding that we're a lot more interested in the, I guess the design process. The brand is Daily News Project and we recently collaborated with the Chainsmokers, so DJ duo slash producer duo based out of Los Angeles. There's just so many people that you meet along the way, and I'm a really big believer in just taking things day by day. If you were to tell me six months ago that we'd be collaborating with the Chainsmokers right now, I would have been like, yeah, right. Digital space has kind of really shaped the brand into what it is now. Anyone around the world can come across your page and it takes a second for them to either like it or not. We have to be very conscious about giving more than what they're expecting. With this Chainsmokers stuff, we did like thank you cards and everything comes into play. We really like minimal. And so I've reached out to a lot of photographers to, to shoot our stuff and they've kind of like built out the aesthetic with us. And when they send it to us, we kind of fit it into the page naturally and it kind of just helps create the vision and brand. Shooting a lookbook is really important because it gives you an idea of what the vision was behind the collection. Photography is important to Dale News Project because it's a visual representation of the brand. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is kind of where the magic happens. <laughs> um, so we'd basically just be going through the photos, trying to find the strongest image. Once we find an image that we do really like, we'll probably stop at that image and spend a lot of time just figuring out the right mood, the right preset. My creative process usually starts with an idea. And from that idea, I would then start to try to pull references together to try to communicate that idea with my team. I'll start by seeing like a random moment rather than having an idea. Like I'll see something and then give it life, give it an idea, make it mean something to me. We're gonna do either three or four of the pieces. I was thinking more like three quarters so you see back a little bit. We'll start like simple, just clean with the white. We're usually drawn to things that are a little bit more strange or odd or more unique generally. And I think those are the things that we want to show to the world because there's beauty in so many things that I think the fashion industry sometimes ignores. And it's, I think it's a really good time right now to trying to be a little bit more innovative and do things that haven't been done. When it comes to working with fashion designers, it's communicating what they've created in your own way. So I think it's a lot about finding that balance of what can I do to help this look the best or help this stand out? And I think that's a lot of what we do. We find what's beautiful in things and then bring that out of it. Yeah.